Okay, in this video we're just going to look at a bit of practice using a few controls and properties that we've already used. I've already set up the form and put two buttons on here. First one I've called BTN set. We can see the name appears in the properties list here and the second button I have yet to put a name. The text property has been put to set message for the first button. For the second button it is change message. So I'm going to change the name and all buttons start with the prefix btn so I'll set that as btn change and therefore we've got two buttons there is a label on there already which I've given the name lbl message what I want this program to do is when I click on the set message button it's going to put a message in that label when I click on the change message it's going to put a new message in that label so this is just to practice using the text property. Now we place the code in the button, the label, or wherever we want it to happen. So if I want to click that button and it does something, that's where I put the code. So I'll double click set message. The way the code reads, if we start to look at reading the code now, this reads when we click on the button called btn set I'll do the bit of code that comes after it. So my label is LBL message. Just a shortcut, instead of typing it all out, if it appears, you can double click it or hit the tab key on the keyboard and it fills in the blanks for you. So LBL message dot text equals and we're setting a message. All text is surrounded by quotation marks. Um, so I'm going to put a message good morning now we can see there the quotation marks around the text that also makes it like a crimson colour, a red colour to read the code it's saying we are taking the text good morning we're placing it inside the text property of the label called LBL message we know it's a label because it's got the prefix LBL. So we always read right to left. We're taking the text, that's good morning. We're placing it inside the text property of the label. We can now press play and check that the program works. The program works. Okay, nothing, nothing else will happen. We've got no code in change message so nothing happens there set message that is just every time we click that that replaces good morning with good morning okay so let's add a change message double click there this now gives us if we click on the button called change it's going to do this bit of code here we'll take the same label dot text equals let's add another message how are you? So again, this is taking this message, this text or message, surrounded by quotation marks. It's placing it inside the text property of the label. Exactly the same as what this one did, but it's just the text is different. So now, when I run the program, I can click set message, and it runs this bit of code. I can click change message and it runs this bit of code. We can also play around with colours as well. If we wanted the background colour to change, when you set message you may want the background colour to change to something else. We can add that in here. Me, the form is also known as me. Me dot back colour equals and uh, let's pick something from here we'll go for a light yellow if we run the code now we can say when we click on that set message let's read the code when we click on this button set it's now going to run two lines of code it's going to change the morning to the text of the label and it's going to take light yellow which is a colour and put it in the back colour property of the form and you might not really see that much on the screen because that is a very light yellow.
Another thing we've looked at is a text box. So I'm going to place a text box on here. And I'm going to give that a name txt and text box are used to get input from the user so we're going to have txt input now I could have it that when it comes up with the how are you the user might then type in how they are on here and we could have a little button I'm going to call this btn ok and it's text property, this is a property that is viewable to the user might just be OK and let me put another label in there so I'm just going to copy and paste that label roughly in the same place, I'm just going to make that slightly smaller I'm going to call this LBL respond So we think what I want the program to do, when I click play, I can click on the set message and it'll say good morning. I can click on change message, it'll say how are you. I can then type fine, thank you. And then press OK. We've not added any code at the minute so it doesn't do anything and we could then put another message saying I'm glad to hear that you are fine or glad to hear if I just type fine in there or well or good we could click OK and it say glad to hear that you are good glad to hear that you are fine so let's code that now so we could actually do with a another label so that one's called LBL respond LBL um, I'm just going to call this LBL LBL for user so we click on the OK button I'm going to say LBL respond dot text equals glad to hear that you are and then the LBL users response dot text I'm going to take this text from our text box so what's going to happen here it's going to set that first extra label that we put on to glad to hear that you are and it's going to take that next label that we put on that we called LBL user and it's going to take the text out of the text box and place this into the text of the label so it'd be as if the computer is responding to what we type so let's run this now and we can say ok set message good morning how are you let's type good in there glad to hear that you are good so it's put that message in there and also our response I could change this to well glad to hear that you are well the only thing is it's not very intelligent but not very good at all okay glad to hear that you are not very good at all it's not a very nice response is it but this is where then we can start to develop the program later to respond to our responses better so that little tutorial just takes you through mainly using the text property using labels text boxes and buttons to cause things to happen